Hey, what's going on, Internet? Zyjix here, coming at you with another Pokemon Soul Silver. And as you can see, I'm actually back in the old apartment. Um, summer vacation's just about over for me, and I got to drive up from Kansas City. Good God, that was an adventure in itself, uh, IRL. So I actually now get to probably record a few more night shots, uh, or night shots, but just, you know, just gameplay of stuff at night, which might give me some different... Um, um, di different Pokemon. Um, in addition, I also have to heal my Pokemon because Goliath has actually burned. Sexy Nurse Joy, please help. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, yeah, I had a six-hour drive. That was fun. Um, drove all the way from Kansas City back to the hometown and um, got a little bit sleepy around uh, hour five. You could say I got a little drowsy. <laughs> I make Pokemon puns. Um, but anyhow, um, Everyone's all healed up, and I believe now we get to go to, um, where does it go? Or where, do, where am I going? Where does it go? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay with that. That sounds about right. Um, yeah, and as you can tell, it's pretty late at night. Um, I need to go to Blackthorn. That's where I need to go. That's also where we can actually have Niall forget cut. He doesn't need it anymore. Um, but anyhow, as if you notice, I'm actually kind of looking down here, and, um, what else I can do? There we go. Maybe point the light at me a little bit better so it's not... So the webcam isn't so crappy looking. Um, but yeah, I'm looking down here because for some reason my PC down here really doesn't like Melon DS. Or at least not when it plays the Gen 4 uh, Pokemon game. So that includes... Um, that will include Soul Silver and Platinum. Um, there's just something about them that it just it causes like a, um, a crackling effect. I don't know. It has some. It's something tied to the frame rate. I'm guessing because uh, my PC is a little out of date. It's probably about time to about that time to start upgrading it. And I cannot fly to Blackthorn. I got to go to Mahogany. So anyhow, um, the funny thing is, it. I think it's more of the optimization with the Gen 4 games. So I think that's the problem. Um, because when I tested, uh. Citra, or Citra, however you want to call it, um, that worked just fine. It didn't have a problem. Um, so that that'll be the 3DS emulator, and now we're going to fight Psychic Phil. Hey, and not to. We haven't seen any of those. <clears throat> Gonna be nice to actually uh, find one. Um, extra sensory. Me first. So he's going to use extra sensory on me. How does that feel? Frickin' mystic. Doesn't feel very good. Oh well. Mine's gonna hit harder. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so anyhow, yeah. With that being said, uh, with my... Uh, with the emulator not working very well on PC, I decided, you know what? Let's just run it off the laptop. Um, it'll work just fine. It does work just fine here. Um, so I'm probably gonna be doing that with um, Pokemon Platinum. So, not a big deal if I'm looking down. I mean, you guys still see me. Whatever. Nightwish, go out there. Um, that was a really bad idea, actually. Um, I don't know what. Well, okay, well, I've got bites, so that'll, that'll be fine. Could have also sent out um, Nile. He's got uh, Ice Fang. I would have taken him out. <clears throat> oh, well. Uh, now we have Kadabra. This will also be a bit of a risk. Let's use his uh, bite again. And there we go. No problem. And 450 experience. Nile also gets 450. Ugh, that's a shocking loss. No, it would have been a shocking loss if I actually had Starlight use Thunder. Yes, Mother has spent more of my money. Okay, great. Um, come to think of it, you know what would be a really good move to uh, teach Nile in place of Cut? I believe he can actually learn Superpower. Hey, Max Repel, sweet. Alright, um... Nice thing also being in, being in this apartment is I don't have to worry about disruptions all that much. Um, sisters are not home. Well, they are home. They're just not here. <laughs> Although it was nice for 
one of them to give me a uh, hot pocket. All right, Mystic uh, up against a Rhyhorn. Let's go ahead and confuse it. Missed, dang it. Man, they both missed. All right, fine. Not what I was gonna use, not what I wanted to use on it. Memento. Um. Yeah, goodbye. Dang it. I don't see that move very often, but basically uh, his attack and defense, I think it just got lowered insanely a lot. Whatever, um, Goliath can finish him off, no problem. And watch out! All right, there we go. Not quite enough to take him out. And he's still missing with that uh, scary face. Rock Smash uh, should take him out. All right, Rhyhorn down. Goliath gets 433 experience. He's now 31. Gets Now has 100 HP. All right. Wants to learn Takedown. Can't learn more than four moves. No. Give up on Takedown because I, I believe that hurts him back. Ooh, your Pokemon is so appealing. Well, thanks for the money. Um, probably need to now heal Mystic. Um, where is that revive? Uh, the revive, the revive we don't have. Dang it! Guess that means we gotta run back to the Pokemon Center. You know what? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do that. All right, here we go. We're back, and uh, probably want to go ahead and ch uh, travel or travel. Yeah, challenge this uh, um, fisherman here. I only need to go back up and challenge the other fisherman I was just by a second ago. Hey, Remoraid, another Pokemon we haven't seen. And you know what? We need to get rid of Sweet Kiss for something, or maybe upgrade Extra Sensory. Um, kind of a good move, but maybe we can teach him Mystic, Psychic, or something. Um, please don't use something that will kill you this time. Well, he did the exact opposite, and I appreciate that, but his HP was already full. Alright. Um, give it, like, Electro Ball or something. Oh, you and your freaking Psybeam. Uh, that's not not gonna work very well. You see, I told you. Whatever, I'm just... Hit it with extra sensory, and this feels a little in the way. How about right there? That's, that's better. It's not so in the way. <clears throat> Alright, you're down, and Mystic is now... Not quite 32. Uh, another Remoraid. Not bad. I find... Honestly, I find Remoraid's um, evolution really odd. It evolves from a fish to uh, Octillery, which is an octopus-looking thing. How does that make any sense? Alright, well, th will that get up Mystic up to 32? No! If uh, Niall wasn't uh, wearing the XP share, I probably would have leveled up. Alright, let's go back up here. Go challenge this fisherman. Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's a whiz. Ah, you made me lose a polywag. What are you going to do about it? Uh, I'm not going to do anything about it, dude. All right, Mystic. Um, I'm feeling a little bit lucky here. <laughs> Flail is gonna do squat because he's it's got all of its health. All right, Aqua Tail. It's me. Not gonna be that good. Wait a minute, Mystic. You don't even have a tail. How do you just how do you use Aqua Tail? You just shake your butt at it and it just I don't know. All right, Mystic's now 32. 309 experience. Whoopee! Um, uh, another Goldeen. Starlight could use some training. And I'm come to think of it, Starlight, um, probably gonna end up uh, training over a Flash. Um, with something. I don't know. Maybe I need to check to see what its attack is like. I might just give it Thunder Punch, or 
which is also really cool. It learns Power Jam, which is a rock move. So we could use that on... I don't know. You know, I dang it, I was just looking at its stats. Niles 32. He's not going to learn anything. Nope, going to keep Starlight out. And real quick, I want to check Starlight stats. Oh, Starlight summary. You have an attack of... Crap. Well, it's... Yeah, it's 10 below special attack. Probably not that good. Probably avoid Thunder Punch or something. Um, give it another Thunder. While it hits me with its horn. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like about uh, Thunder. It can miss badly. It's not very accurate. And it uh, missed twice in a row. So apparently, uh, lightning doesn't strike twice. Uh, doesn't or doesn't strike in the same place twice. There we go. You have got to be freaking kidding me. <sighs> yeah. Um. This is why. I st oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Ouch. <sighs> yeah. Flail does more damage. More damage that is done to the Pokemon using it. Just in case if anybody's wondering. Although mo I'm sure most people watching me are probably pretty well informed of Pokemon. Well, that was a very interesting battle now, wasn't it? <clears throat> when I'm fishing here, sometimes I, I catch items that people have dropped. If I find anything, I'll give it to you. Will you give me your phone number? Well, I guess. Alright. It's not going to think good. I'll be sure to let you know. Alrighty. Um, I have my Hyper Potion that Starlight needs badly. And actually, Starlight probably should come to the front of the party. As should Nightwish. Although Nightwish is already fully evolved, so I'm not really too worried about Nightwish, but could still use training. Got another Ultra Ball. Wouldn't be half bad to start getting some Dusk Balls. Is there a cave I gotta go through here? I'm gonna be really upset if I do. You look like a bird keeper. And yes, I do see a cave up there. You know about the legendary bird Pokemon. Why, yes, I do. I've actually caught them. <laughs> All right, Vance. Is his name, last name Lance? Really? Vance Lance? <laughs> Goodbye, bird. And 174 experience for both Starlight and Niall. I can remember. I'm looking right at his name and I'm just like, duh! Like, I can't. What is it? Like, what is the. What do these symbols mean? Just slow me down. Please tell me it slows me down. I think it does. Yes. No, it lowers my attack. Doesn't matter. I don't use my attack stat. All I have are special moves. Come to think of it, I wonder maybe I could actually teach Starlight something and just go ahead and get rid of, uh, Flash. Actually, well, come to think of it, I still need Flash. You are strong, but I don't just... I, but I don't want to just slink away. I know. Could I get your number? Let's meet up for more battles. Sure, I'll get your number and never call you again. Pretty much what I'm doing. For everybody. All right, uh, wait. Ice Path. Ooh, I believe this is where we can find Sneasel. Or other Ice-type Pokemon. Wee! Very slippery here. I'm kind of waiting when something was going to show up here. Well, that's a Golbat. That's not an Ice-type Pokemon. Starlight's getting a little low on uh, thunder here. Ouch. Alright, not bad. Move this just a little bit more. Yeah, that's about as good as it'll get. 
That's another thing I like. Uh, another thing I like about being home, I actually got my mic on the stand here as opposed to sitting in front of my computer, making it hard to see. And we're out. Totally didn't remember anything there, but you see that item over there? It was me who dropped it, but I can't. But I cannot get over there to pick it up. Why? Walking on ice makes your feet freeze. My shoes are so worn that the soles are gone. I don't think that's how ice works. Yeah, I, I know. I don't need to talk to you again. Alright, let's see if we can go get the item. We. Um. Well, that was easy. Ooh! Waterfall! Kind of needed that. Alright. Let's get out of here. Well, so much for. Let's get out of here. Um. A swine hub. Well, I don't think I can use any electric moves on you because you're a part psychic. So, I'll uh, we'll use Nile here because he's a water type. I'm gonna be careful not to knock this thing out. But yes, I will go ahead and catch it. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to actually maybe getting that thing up to a mammoth swine. I I think you can actually, yeah, I think you can actually get this to a Mammoth Swine in this game. Crunch. Okay, good. Very, very good. Appreciate you doing that. I will say, though, um, it kind of looks a little doofy as a Pillow Swine, but Mammoth Swine, eh, it makes up for, makes up for looks. Alright. It is not very heavy. I think, you know what? We're in a cave. Let's go ahead and throw a Dusk Ball at And I'm still doing that wrong. I should I need to... Alright. Well, that was easy. Fairly easy Pokemon to catch. It, it literally... It's like it wanted to get caught or something. Alright. Well... Um, if it smells something enticing, it dashes off headlong to find the source of the aroma. So, don't fart in a cave. <laughs> Alright. Um, what do we call a new... Um, eh, you know what? Uh, I was thinking like oinkers or something, but that's just dumb. I'll just call you Tundra. Alright. And off he goes. Moving on here. Another gold app. <laughs> Don't care. Um, you need a max ether here. Cause uh you're on uh thunders. So, let's give you that max ether and use on starlight, use on thunder. There we go. I mean, there's still that dark cave. By the way. Oh, yeah. Um, the item you picked up over there. It was an HM, wasn't it? I'm the one who dropped it, but I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it, right? It contains waterfall. Have fun climbing waterfalls. Me? I still need a new pair of shoes before I can enjoy the waterfalls. Yes, because that makes total sense. Is there a Sneasel in here? No, but there is, um... Deli Bird? That's part flying. Um, sure, why not? Let's... Ouch. Thunder Wave. And, um... Hmm. I wish you can probably have a little fun with it. Yeah, I don't want to kill the thing. Ow. Give it a bite. Okay, yeah, if I use another bite on it, it's gonna go down. It's gonna die, so how about. It's also not that heavy. If I throw a heavy ball at this thing, it's gonna break out immediately. You're like, eh, I think an ultra ball is gonna is appropriate. Yeah. See, I learned the thing. Whoop! Apparently, I'm not ready to stay in the ball. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> the the gimmick I love with Deli Bird. All right, go ahead and 
confuse you. And uh, one thing I forgot about this seat is it flattens my ass. It is not very comfortable. Okie doke. Um, whoops. No, 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 no. Want to get you in the Ultra Ball. Please stay in the ball. Good thing at level 22, it shouldn't be that hard to catch. Two and three. Yeah. All right. Um, I was going to think of calling it Santa. I mean, it is gift presents and all, but it nests in the sh uh, uh, at the edge of sharp cliffs. It spends all day carrying food to awaiting its chicks. But because it's a girl, you're just going to be Mrs. Claus. Nope. Give it a space. Don't plan. I don't think. I don't think Delibird ever get used in uh, competitive. I, I don't think they're really viable competitively. But anyhow, guys, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. And God bless you all. See you in the next one.